The PC5000 portable particle counter can be used as a grab sample benchtop analyzer in a laboratory, as well as in the field in an online continuous mode. When using the PC5000 in the lab, it is necessary to have a beaker with a magnetic stirrer, a second beaker or drain for the disposed sample flow, a graduated cylinder for pump calibration, and particle standards to calibrate the analyzer. The operation mode should be set to grab. The pump volume should be checked in order to provide for measurement accuracy. The purge mode allows for any air to be cleared from the line prior to measuring in the sample run mode. In this case, it is set for a 25 milliliter purge and a single 25 milliliter sample run. So the graduated cylinder should collect a combined volume of 50 milliliters. If the volume is more or less than expected, the pump can be adjusted with the knob on the side of the unit. Repeating the process allows for additional adjustments until reaching the expected volume. Validation standards of polystyrene latex spheres can be used to check the particle counter's calibration. With the 2 micron 500 particle per milliliter standard, it is expected to see only half of the 2 micron particles in the 2 to 5 micron range. Since this particular standard expired two years ago, and the presence of larger particles is likely due to some particles clumping together, it is good to go ahead and do a calibration. The automatic calibration mode can be reached in the menu. The standards must be diluted into appropriate concentrations. Clean beakers and particle-free water are required. The quality of the dilution water can be checked to determine the degree of any present particulate. Factory calibrations for the PC5000 include using NIST traceable standards made up of polystyrene latex spheres with diameters of 2, 5, 10, 15, 50, and 100 microns. Gentle agitation of the bottles allows the particles to be in proper suspension without introducing bubbles. And micropipettes are used to retrieve the required volumes of particles for the solutions. Once the 2 micron standard solution is made, the auto calibration process can proceed. The analyzer will automatically determine the appropriate threshold settings. After saving the settings for the two micron spheres, solutions for the larger particle standards can be prepared and processed in the same fashion. It should be noted that in the calibration process, half of the particle concentration will appear in the lower particle size range and the other half in the upper size range. The PC5000 offers four different count formats. Counts per milliliter, counts per 100 milliliters, raw counts, and volumetric PPB. During calibration, counts per milliliter is used. While most municipal plants will use counts per milliliter, Many industrial applications will use counts per 100 milliliters. The unit can be set up for a single test or for multiple runs of some defined volume. When using the counts per milliliter format, typically sample run volumes of 25 milliliters are sufficient. While when using counts per 100 milliliter format, it's a good idea to use at least a sample volume of 100 milliliters. Once the purge occurs, the unit will begin the defined number of runs in succession. Upon completion, the results can be accessed using the keys. The right and the left arrows navigate to the respective run results, 
and the up and down arrows allow for size distribution, total counts, status, and graph trend. The analyzer gives very repeatable and consistent results. Data can also be downloaded using a computer connected via a USB connection on the side of the unit. Chemtrack's Grabit software allows for data to be downloaded in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet format. An inline filter is used in the grab sample mode to protect the internal pump. After each session in the lab, it is a good practice to use a syringe to backwash the filter using particle-free water or even tap water. The operation mode can be changed from grab sample runs to online continuous. Manually turning on the pump will allow for a continuous flow of 75 milliliters per minute. The typical sample frequency is every 60 seconds and the typical sample period is 15 seconds. The results are updated each minute. Once again, the results from minute to minute are quite consistent. Although the pump can be turned on for continuous sampling, the pumps are not intended for continuous use for online use, it is recommended to use the constant head pressure overflow weir to maintain the appropriate flow. The sample is introduced at the top of the device, just below the overflow. The sample flows from the bottom of the device up through the sample cell and exits into a drain cup where a graduated cylinder and stopwatch can be used to measure the flow rate. The drain cup can be moved lower to increase the head pressure and hence the flow and higher to reduce the head pressure and flow. For any questions, please contact us at chemtrack at chemtrack.com.